What's up, Vikings fans? Welcome back to the Minnesota Vikings podcast. We again have a guest who needs no introduction, an 11-year Viking veteran. Uh, you retired back in 2017. Does it feel like it's been three years now since you suited up for the Vikings? Yeah, 2017. It, it, time just flies. I mean, it really does. And I, and I think uh, when you have kids and, and they're busy, that's kind of it kind of aids it along, right? Before you know it, it's it's summer, and then as you're back to school, and then you just kind of keep going. And um, and the football seasons keep rolling by. And to think I've already been out for three football seasons is incredible. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's a uh, it's amazing. You know, it was a great run. I really enjoyed it. I love being able to live in the community that I played. Um, living here in the Twin Cities still is so fun because we get to, you know, get to stay somewhat connected to you guys and stay involved. And obviously, huge fans. You get to games on occasion. So uh, it's been a blessing. You know, it's so I'm so lucky to be drafted here from being a South Dakota boy to go to Iowa. I mean, kind of all being self-contained, it's awesome. So, yeah, it does go, you know, to answer your question, though, it's flown by. I mean, it really has. Getting ready for this interview, I just went back and watched your interception against Philip Rivers, where you ran about 90 plus yards to the end zone. Chargers need a touchdown. Rivers hooks the pass. Intercepted. Chad Greenway is there. And Greenway's got a convoy in front of him. Greenway down the sideline. Chad Greenway's going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Vikings. Do you think you'd still be able to make it the full way, <laughs> all the way? Oh. You, had, you had a nice wall in front of you, so I take it. I could take a timeout with that. With that. With that kind of a uh, crew around me, I could have taken a timeout. You know, had a sip of water and still made it no problem. But um, my my cardio fitness is probably not quite as good as it was then. But I I uh, I give myself so much heck for that play because you know I look like I was pulling a camper. Um, when I was running up <laughs> the sideline there, but what I, what I, what I remember, and, and it doesn't, you don't get to tell the story of why you look so tired, but it was like a, you know, eight play drive. And then you get the pick and go 91 and, and, uh, man, that was just that play, that play, you know, there's, you know, obviously over when you play 11 years or you're part of a team for 11 years, there's so many plays that stick out in your mind, but that one is so fun for me and, and my wife, um, uh, for uh, my birthday or anniversary one year, I can't remember, uh, went to uh, what's the company downtown but they went and basically put it on to 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 wood and laser cut it into wood woodchuck design is a company and um that that moment i crossed the goal line with the ball up and all my teammates around me is one of the most special moments of my career and, and uh, it was so fun i was about to ask is that the top moment of your career you had a lot of big moments i don't know if that's the top one or not i think the symbolism in that game was the deepest. So I think I'm going to take it with that as being my number one moment because there's so many things that go into it. And I'm not sure how long we have, but I could tell a story all day. <laughs> but, you know, the, the thing about it was the year before my, my dad had passed away, the month later, my grandmother passed away. So within 30 days, um, we lose two just pillars in our lives. And my grandfather um, on that side of my dad's side had been to one live game in his life. And it was that game. Wow. And, um, so it's so crazy to think about just that, you know, you play a hundred and whatever games, 70 games or something. And, and um, for him to be there for that one, to have that special moment happen, it just seemed like this, it's just incredible. And life works in mysterious and fun ways and just made you feel like your dad and your grandmother were there. And my grandfather was, you know, doesn't get emotional, but I was able to give him that ball to him. I walk in the locker room and be able to give him the ball that I caught, um, and, I, you know, it wasn't about the ball. It wasn't about the moment. It was about just, you know, my grandma and my dad. And that was what it was about. Is And that's so special. And so for me personally, there's so much of a backstory to that play that makes it number one. And then I think you, you look at the, the the caravan of players I had around me. And, and I think at that point in my career, the, the player I had become in the locker room and the leader that I had become was, was, um, was evident with just the people willing me to get to the zone. And that was so fun. The sideline reaction, I think everybody, to me, that was what really hit home was people cared about me. You know, people, fans, my teammates, coaches, everybody was really happy. And that was, that was really cool.